We see a, a fairly large shift in the market occurring now, especially in the application delivery controller space. It started out with kind of these new next generation data centers being built, but it's really quickly morphed into the cloud, whole cloud computing initiative. And we see a lot of data centers and a lot of vendors in the CDN area, software as a service, people doing IPTV, streaming media, really trying to position their solutions more for the cloud environment. That could be both enterprise-based um, um, uh, application vendors that are now repositioning their enterprise applications to be to be delivered through the cloud. It's infrastructure based applications. It's things like software as a service moving to more of a cloud based delivery. It's you know things like um, uh, you know storage area networking being moved to the to the cloud computing environment. There's a big shift into the cloud, and it's going to have a big change in how data centers are built. So we're seeing the first wave of the next generation data centers being built and now the second wave coming in that are really focused around the whole cloud computing environment. And we think it's going to fundamentally shift how applications are delivered and what application delivery controllers need to do and how they need to be designed to address those, those, this new market. Now that's a very good question. How, how does virtualization and cloud computing tie together? I mean, one thinks of virtualization as VMware and back-end server-based virtualization. But in the cloud environment, everything needs to be virtualized. The network needs to be virtualized. The application delivery controllers need to be virtualized. And all of those virtual infrastructure components need to interface with the back-end virtualization environment, the server virtualization environment. It's very important that you have end-to-end -end based virtualization. So what you're seeing is a lot of vendors that are architecting their products around the whole virtualization environment. And there's really multiple ways to do it. One is you can do it in hardware and the other is you can do it in software. We firmly believe that both approaches are going to be very key uh, to being able to scale the, the cloud um, over time to achieve the cost efficiencies that people are talking about. In, in our case, our application delivery controller, we make use of a very high core density so that we can allocate cores to specific functions. And we believe that this hardware-based approach that we build on actually an, uh, an architecture that's designed from square one to deliver virtualization will be key in helping to you know, build the cost efficiencies, that we, efficiencies both in terms of you know, capital and um, you know, operationally in terms of how much energy they use. Um, what kind of footprint they have, uh, being able to virtualize um, in hardware we think is going to be very key to deliver some of the cloud computing services that we see uh, you know, on, the, on the drawing board. We have many examples of customers uh, in the software as a service environment, content delivery, that in the past would deploy a single or pair of our application delivery controllers every time they signed up a new client. Now those customers are going to a new model, more of a cloud computing next generation data center model where they're deploying larger units and dividing up those units into virtual instances so that customers instead of having their own dedicated boxes actually are sharing boxes and have isolation between the different customers on each box. This has uh, resulted in tremendous real estate savings and tremendous power savings. These emerging cloud computing data centers are extremely large and they have to be massive to achieve the economies of scale that people are looking for. To do that you need to make sure the infrastructure you put in could be also scaled over time. Um, simple you know, point products that are not scalable are going to be very difficult to deploy in a cloud computing environment. That's why we think it's very important that the infrastructure, both the network infrastructure, the application infrastructure, the application delivery controller infrastructure, the servers and all of the, all of the infrastructure Structure applications can be scaled up over time. That's why we believe that you know modularity, flexibility, scalability, the ability to add performance in a product over time by adding more processing power, the ability to add more interfaces, to upgrade the interfaces from from one to ten to one hundred gigabits is very important. These cloud computing data centers are going to be very large and they're going to host a lot of customers, a lot of key customer data, key applications. And if these applications go down, if they're attacked, it's going to be a major problem. So we think things like supporting integrated hardware-based security in your application delivery controller is going to be key. You've got to make sure that the application delivery controllers can absorb the kind of DOS attacks that these large data centers are going to uh, find themselves under. and also 
you need to make sure that you have data center redundancy, supporting things like global server load balancing, where you have multiple of these data centers. In case one of these data centers gets attacked or happens to go down, maybe it loses power, it's very important that you can shift traffic to another data center. So securing a data center uh, it's very important and being able to shift traffic between data centers around the world you know, are key aspects uh, of the design for uh, the next generation cloud computing data centers.